I am in North Charleston, South Carolina at the SCMA Low Country Nationals. They moved this show from October to July 27th. Um, and it is, this venue has changed. They're at a, the Trident Technical College. It's a lot bigger. This thing is, this room is really, really big and uh, tons of vendors and all that stuff. This is a vendor video. I'm going to walk through and take a look at some of those things. But yeah, this is a great show. Uh, I've, had, I've got so many friends here now. This was my very first show that I ever attended. It was, at a, it was held at a, at a church then, but now here at the T Trident Technical College, they've really upgraded. So I'm gonna walk around, check out the vendors. We'll have a separate video for the cars. This one may be second. I don't know what order I'm gonna put them in, but anyway, I'm gonna walk around, check out some of the vendors, let you guys see what's here and see what you're missing if you're not here. All right, here we go. This guy's got, he says he likes to find the oddball stuff. So he's got a lot of these old Corvette kits here. That's pretty cool. The old Midnight Cowboy. Oh boy, look at this. Wow. Let's see these resin bodies. Those are really nice actually. Let's see asking for those. I don't see a price on what is it? Competition resins. I think these are these are older. It's pretty cool. Boxes of them. Oh, that's cool. There's another Christine drag car. That is too cool. I don't see what he wants for this thing. Not sure what the price is on that. Oh, there's that Nomad. I think that's the one they repopped. Uh, Ollie's had a lot of them. I believe that's the same car for the most part. There's the there's the old Chevy street pickup they just repopped. A quick story, I gotta say this. See this kit here? I had a friend back when I was probably 12, 13 years old. He got a, a head injury real bad, had to have brain surgery. He was in the hospital for a long time. We went down to visit him, me and my mom in Jacksonville and, and his name, uh, de, uh, shoot, forgot his name, oh well. Anyway, he built model cars and we, I told my mom, I said, we should go buy him a model. He's laying in a hospital bed. I went and we bought him this kit and some glue and he sat there and uh, James, his name was James. And James built that model kit laying in a hospital bed. Obviously it wasn't painted or anything, but yeah. Every time I see that kit, I, re I remember uh, James. He, and he recovered from that brain injury. Anyway, quick story. Woo, look at there. Man. Ah, look at here. The boss, no, the hog, what was it? Something with a pig, the new release. This is weird because it's called the Mad Mudder. 
This was always, this has always been a confusing kit to me because it looks more like a bogging truck, but he's got the pulling sled or the pulling weights for, for it. So they, they came back out with it, repopped it, and it's the pulled pork. And it's a, it's a pulling truck, but this one is a mud truck. It, it, it makes no sense though, because it's got the weights on it, but, and they got the tires on backwards too. <laughs> Oh man, look at that. Wow, check it out. Look at that. That's got some neat kits, sure does. And then over here. Got a turbine car. And under the table, he's got more. There's no way I'm going to be able to video all of these vendors. There's a lot here. There's quite a few, so I'll keep going. All right, here's wall-to-wall -wall hobbies. There's his phone number if you want to sell him your collection. Opal Blitz fire truck. Huh, that's pretty cool. No, I just didn't know where it was, so I understand that. I figured some of them done myself. No, no, no. Yeah, that is the thing. Like I got right now. I've done. That the one you've been looking for? Um, no, I just caught my eye. <laughs> Everybody loves to see what you do. I love it. But I just got to move it. I'm just trying to sell it. I'm getting more tires. I'm getting more tires. I mean, it needs a water pump on it. But other than that, it runs like a sewing machine. And I'm only asking for it because that's how much I paid for it. But I've got eight in it because I've had to put so much stuff in it. But I'm figuring, let me get what I bought for it. And I get these people, you know, I've had all these tire tickets. That old guy come by yesterday. I said, what do you want for it? I said, 4,000. Well, I'll take a look at it. I'll, I'll be back in a couple days. I said, yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, thank you very Appreciate much. Appreciate that, buddy. You want a Hot Wheels um, um, monster truck? Monster truck? Huh? You done hook, hooked yourself up with a monster truck? No, I I want it. I always tell folks. Wall to wall hobbies right here. Again, if you want to sell your collection, call Jeff. Call Jeff. I love seeing the different variations of these things. I've never seen this one. Hot Tub 53. <laughs> Very negotiable. Very negotiable, he says. Tube glue was the... Yeah. Uh, that's all I used to use too as a kid. They didn't have the thin Tamiyas and all that stuff. That's no, all we used was all the... All we had was testers. That's right. And, and you regret it every time you try and rebuild one. <laughs>
So this is the one they repopped and made the uh, whiskey whiskey mobile out of the t Kentucky bourbon truck or whatever. Anyway, which is the basically the same kit as the 39 that I built, but it's the sedan delivery. I think it's pr pretty much the same. I don't know if the wheelbase is the same or not, but anyway, that's cool. What's that, uh, 20 bucks? That's, that's actually not bad at all. STS decals. Mr. Terry, right here, and his wife have they travel around. How many shows do you guys do a year now? Not nearly as many as we did, last, we did year. last year. How many did you do last year? We did 11 and 10 weeks in a row last year. Really? Oh my gosh, yeah. We're, we're like, we are not doing that this year. Well, so we've we, done, we average about two a month, and hell, we ain't done one. I think we're only doing five weeks this year. Is that all? That's all. <laughs> Hey, but man, you travel around and get paid for it. And yeah, hey, that's right, that's right, man. man. That's right. That's right. And have a good time, too, you right? see parts of the country I've never There seen. you go. There you go. I'd like to get there one day. We wanted to go to Texas, but they never called us back. Oh, no. Yeah, because I want to go You talking about they won the uh, Houston show? No, the, the, not no the this one, is... Uh, the dedicated show. It's some show down in um, Dallas-Fort Worth area, and they're, like, giving away $1,000 for the best in show. Oh, wow. They're yeah. paying money? And I asked him, is that a real car show? So no, this, really. so you got, I, you got all color flocking. 50 colors, buddy. 50 colors of flocking. Yep. Well, for all in stock. Yeah, well, what you had, yeah. I think, well, we had it all stocked up when we left the house. So. Yeah. Because blacks and grays sell really good. Yeah, but we got all kinds, you can't find a color there, buddy. You ain't looking. I got to come back. I got to come back. All kinds of stuff. I'm, it, sometimes the decal tables are overwhelming to me. Oh, because it's so much. And I feel, I'm, I'm already overwhelmed anyway. Anyway, anyhow. We're up to trade room. It's got all kinds of stuff. Batteries and um, these are uh, oil filters. These oh, are yeah. NOS bottles and fire extinguishers. These are batteries and uh, I don't know what the hell that was. I don't like maybe tires. Yeah, American racers. And these are just old vintage content. Well, one of them is for like European cars because we did some Volkswagens. Okay. And it's that one. Just contention stickers. And these are, um, yeah. And then these are for gassers. And like we did two different sizes, like for a door oh, of yeah, a, yeah, like yeah. a Nova Say or a door of a Willys because it's smaller. And then you got some fabrics, different fabric designs that she came up with. And new bombs, parrot chair, but that bad. Pie wagon. <laughs> and then dice. We got all color. Well, we don't have them oh, all with us. It. Yeah, check it out. And, and the dice, the way I did mine, because I've seen the other people, they drill into it straight into the middle. Okay. And they use a piece of wire. Well, I use a piece of thread. That's the same color as the dice. And I try to drill into the corner the best I can. Yeah, so it hangs kind of. Yeah, so kind of I try. Of I tried to drill straight into the corner. Yeah. But I couldn't get my vice to work. Because I got a vice and a little uh, drill, drill press that I use. Yeah. Because it makes a big difference. <laughs> and then my 3D printed stuff. And you're doing those by hand, the dice. Yep. Wow. And then my 3D printed stuff that I printed. There you go. And there's some more down there. My Roscoe or my general. Or, uh, False hog stuff. Yeah. And then calipers. Yeah, you're you're getting a lot more a lot more stuff. Yeah. Very cool. Well that's about as much as we can get because we just ain't got room. Just ain't got no room. We don't have room for an spinning. We don't have room in the truck for anything else. And yeah. then our photo backdrops are really cool. Yeah. Oh you're doing the photo backdrops too. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, so if you get down with it level. See? That is really cool. Yeah. And then these are this is a, a, a gas station in Indiana where the um, Model T Museum is. Really? We took a wrong turn and we ran across this gas station. I asked the guy if I could take pictures. Mm -hmm. He looked at me like, whatever, dude. And this is Rabbit Hash General Store down by where we live. It's on the river. It's an old, well, it's not old anymore, but it was like 150 years old and uh -huh. burnt down. 
and they went all over the country getting yeah. wood to restore because it's on the National Historic Registry. This is Florence Speedway Dirt Track. This is a little shell station in Scott County, Kentucky, which is down south of us. And it used to be like the gas station's here now by the roads where the pumps used to be uh -huh. on US 25. But then next to it, there's a little uh, foundation for okay. a restaurant yeah. and an office. Uh -huh. Well, then it used to go back in there and have a bunch of little cabins. It was like a roadside stop back when 25 was the main road. This is on Route 66. This is an old Chevrolet dealership just north of this place. It's a body shop now, but it used to be the dealership, but they moved up into town. And then this is a barn that's on the road going to that. Oh, that's cool. So, yep. And we're working on a couple others because people want track trips and people yeah, want yeah, NASCAR yeah. tracks, but we're trying to figure out. Well, there's a nice display. to do it. You know what I mean? Who built you? Who built the two cars? Then? They're die cast. Are they die cast? I just painted them and decaled them. And decaled them. them. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. I had them last year, the same cars. This one was black with night neon green, and that one was. What color was that? I think I one had like a red, white, and blue flag down the side. It was. Uh, but this one was black, and it had a tone on tone flag in, in on the roof and the hood and down the sides, and then it had yeah. neon green and crap on it. Yeah. I think that was the same car. <laughs> I don't know. I change them all the time. <laughs> Very cool. So if you guys don't remember when Ruthie had her uh, built her pumpkin mobile, Terry is the guy who made the pumpkin decals. So uh, yeah, and they're doing great. This is so cool to see. So I'm gonna come back here. In just a few minutes. Got Protect stuff too. Oh, here's like our wood grains. Here's some uh, just our lace stuff and. Um, we actually have fabric blankets. Here's the snake skins. That's new. Oh, yeah. Um, carbon fiber. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything new. Um, the fabric uh, seat covers. Here. Where is it at? Right here. Oh, yeah. In Check it out. Yeah, that's that's cool to actually have fabric. Yeah. We have it in four different patterns. Cool. Oh man, the focus is awful. Everybody loves my camera. If my camera focused, they probably wouldn't watch my channel anymore. <laughs> People are laughing saying, yeah, right. All right, thanks guys. I think I told you everything. I doubt it. There's a lot more that you didn't tell me. Well, like the 3D printer stuff I was talking about, like the Roscoe, this is what I call my uh, Dukes of Hedgehog expansion pack. <laughs> it's, got a, it's got the horns and it's got a cowboy hat. It's got Uncle Jesse and Boss Hogg's license plates. And then any Dukes of Hazard fan has to have a Roscoe for sure sign. Okay, yeah, Roscoe. <laughs> uh, but right. yeah, that's that was a joke and we just stuck with it. Yeah. Oh, I see the uh, Dixie for uh, Daisy's Jeep yeah, well, we and all that stuff. Too. We got the car too. Oh, yeah. Then we got the sheriff from Chickasaw County and then Roscoe and <laughs> the General Lee's down there in the bottom. And a Corvette summer decal. is all this on your website? 80%. Oh, okay, 80%. We just don't have time. We'll yeah, have to I, I, to I totally understand. There's a new understand. one, the BJ and the Bear. That's a new one. Yeah. And then we're pimping out ourselves and selling shirts. Too. Yeah, I see that. You got t-shirts too, which are really cool. Yes, they are. T-shirts, 10 bucks. Those will be collector items, right? We're going to get a new design next year. Well, cool. <laughs> all right, Terry. Thanks for showing me all that. Yeah. Okay, guys. So that was just kind of a brief o overview of some of the vendors, STS, and the guys selling kits and all that stuff. Um, there's a lot more. I just, throughout the day, I'm a little pressed for time, um, helping Heather and doing other things, so be sure to come to these shows. Um, you'll find some really cool stuff, some stuff that you're like, man, I hadn't seen that in years, I guess. I've not seen most of this stuff ever, but I even talked to some of my friends that have been in this hobby for a really long time and they see stuff that's like, I didn't even know that they had put that kit out. So yeah, it's a very, it's a, it's a benefit to you as a model car builder to, to come to these shows, to the swap meets and stuff like that, to be able to see what they've got because there's some stuff been hiding in people's attics and closets. Well, you might not want it if it's been hiding in their attic, but it's been hiding in their closets, under their beds. And these uh, collections get bought out by some of these vendors and you never know what you're gonna find. So it's really cool. Anyway, hey guys, thanks for supporting my channel. Thanks for all you do. Um, I really appreciate you and uh, we'll see you again. Hope you enjoyed this. Take care. Bye.